play against the Washington Wizards. He is the number two seed in the East right now, four and four. He has Westbrook and Beal. The funny thing about it is that he actually drafted those players before Beal and Westbrook were teamed up in Washington in real life. So it's quite funny how he has them in the fantasy league and then after it happened in real life that John Wall got traded for him. But anyways, I just found that hilarious. Westbrook shoots a three. That was my game plan in this game. Just backing off of him, daring him to shoot. Chris Paul gets it right back. <laughs> or at least he tries to. But Robinson gets the rebound and put back. So these games early in the season are very important because they can decide where you're going to be matching up in the playoffs. Chris Paul, the defense right there on the bigger Jaron Jackson. Paul George to the lane, tough layup. So this first quarter was very close. Robinson with another put back, his flan all over the place. So this game, Robinson really made an impact. Westbrook makes another three, but I'm not gonna panic just yet. I'm gonna let him do that. If he wants to pull up with three. Ooh, look at that hesitation with CP3 at Frozen. He's going into paint. Great defense by Jonathan Isaac. Or was that Robinson? My screen is so small, it's hard to see the player sometimes. Chris Paul with another pull up midi. Chris Paul is playing great defense on this possession. That is one of the reasons I drafted CP3. He is an all around point guard. He has everything from defensive badges to dimer to floor general to bullet passer. He makes the team really, really play much better, basically. Look at his defensive possession 24 seconds. I left Adams wide open because he can't shoot. And again, Adams in the paint. I'm going to live with Adams trying to score in the post. I'd rather have that than Bradley Beal and Westbrook going off. Look at that defense once again. Beautiful, beautiful defense. Oubre is mad. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I really like my team so far. Their defense is really great. Paul George, I'm learning his shot much more with every game that passes by. What a pump fake right there. Pass it back out. A lot of movement in the offense and we get a dunk. So Paul George is calling for the ball early in the quarter. I drive it again. Beal cannot stop him. A nice double screen for CP3. Free wide open lane. Easy layup. So my opponent is leading by one point. But we ended up getting the steal right here. We're going to end up taking the lead. CP3 with a nice bounce pass to Buddy Heald. And we take the lead right back. So this second quarter is pretty much the same, pretty close, a lot of action, a nice play to Buddy Heal for three. Two seconds left on the clock, Westbrook with a mid-range contested, I'll take it, I'll take it. So my opponent's up by three but I'm not panicking because most of the shots have been contested, great defense. Again, we're gonna go coast to coast with Paul George, in and out dribble with the no! <laughs> Yo that was nasty, that in and out dribble. He does a nice pick and roll with Adams and Beal. Nice finish in the paint. And again, isolation for Paul George. I'm going to be shifty again. I lose Kelly Oubre on the perimeter. I get a nice dunk. Again, Westbrook, I'm letting him shoot. I'm giving him a lot of space, as you can see. If he gets into the paint, that's when I get close to him. I leave him some space here. Paul George, great defense so far. We bump him. And he misses the layup. So that was a great defensive possession. Spin move by Paul George in the corner, and one. So a lot of these moves that I'm doing with Paul George and CP3, they're very subtle, but they're very effective. He brings a double because Paul George has takeover, finds the open man. Again, Paul George in the paint. His defense didn't help out there. This is going to be another contested three over Isaac, but he makes it. I'm going to live with that. A lot of these shots he's making, like I said, don't panic. I'm dancing again with Paul George. Look at these beautiful... <laughs> I'm dancing with him and I get by both of his defenders. Man, Paul George is so fun to use if you know what you're doing. If you're shifty, same thing with Chris Paul. If you know what you're doing, they're not the fastest players, but if you know what you're doing, they're fun to use. Westbrook in the paint, dunks over Chris Paul. Man, that was nice. 
So I'm going to be running another play right here for Buddy Heald. Green release. This third quarter is when we start pulling away a little bit. We're playing great defense. We shut down Bradley Beal. Westbrook gets an ankle breaker there. I don't know how he got an ankle breaker on Chris Paul. Because Chris Paul has, um, I think, gold clamps. So I don't know how he got ankle breaker on him. That was crazy. Westbrook is being guarded again by CP3. I'm trying my best. Great defense right there. Bradley Beal, shot clock violation. So this is why I didn't panic after the first half because I knew that my defense will step up and he's going to start missing these shots that he was making. We're bumping him again. Takes a tough shot from three. Going all the way to CP3. He leaves me open. Pull up midi. Easy basket. So Westbrook is getting bumped again. He's giving it to Steven Adams. I don't mind Steven Adams posting up. I'll give him that all day long. He doesn't know what to do. Great defense again. So I hope you guys are enjoying the defensive highlights because usually on my videos, I only show offense. But if you guys are enjoying the defensive clips, let me know in the comments section. That's why these videos are at least 10 minutes long now is because I'm showing a lot of the defense. You know, I don't want to just show offense. I want to show both sides of the ball. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys like the defensive highlights as well, because I think it's fun to watch. Terry Roger gets in the paint. Jonathan Isaac with the recovery block. 6-11. Wingspan really helps out. And again, Jonathan Isaac is on Bradley Beal. He can't do anything. He's way too long. That's what she said. Pause. Now I'm going coast to coast. Look at Okogi with the 95 speed. That's what I was saying in the last video. Okogi has 95 speed. So whenever you get a steal or a defensive stop, he's always outrunning everybody. And Steven Adams with a nice alley-oop. Another great defensive possession right here, Brogdon with the wingspan. He is a 6'5 point guard with a long wingspan. So Brogdon can play some great defense. I don't know how that was a charge on Paul George. I really think the charging in this game is broken. <laughs> Look at Terry Rozier, contested layup over Brogdon. Nice stop. Paul George with a step back. Two of <laughs> Yo, man, that's nasty. A step back to a baseline drive. Paul George gets the revenge on Terry Rozier. <laughs> Terry Rozier is mad. Yeah, man, the charging in this game, I really don't understand how it works. He runs a nice play right here. Contested three. This one misses. So CP3 with a nice fancy pass to Paul George. Pulls up for three. The flashy passes really are nice. If you're wide open and you get a flashy pass, Chris Paul with the defense on Terry Rozier. Rozier is stunned right now. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing. He pulls up for three with Westbrook. It's a miss. Like I said, I don't mind Westbrook shooting threes. That's what I want. That's the game plan. Bradley Beal with a pick and roll to Steven Adams. Another nice lob. Steven Adams is really a great catch. Oh, what the? What was that? Another charge. <laughs> Another charge by Westbrook, yo. I really don't understand how the charging works in this game. Regardless, it's broken. Paul George, crazy mid-range shot contested to end the quarter. I don't know how that went in. Bradley Beal, five seconds left on the clock. I thought he was going to lob it to Adams. That's why I jumped a little bit late. Because Adams has been killing me. Paul George, oh my goodness. I don't know how I greened that. That was a deep three. Westbrook, he doesn't even want to shoot anymore. He passed it out. Again, I switched Paul George this time in the fourth quarter to Westbrook. Because like I said, when Chris Paul is on the bench, or when I want Chris Paul to rest, I switch Paul George to the primary ball handler because he has the length, great defense. We block him right there. Oh my gosh, Paul George is talking smack. <laughs> oh my goodness. Westbrook gets another ankle breaker. I don't know how he got an ankle breaker again there. But Westbrook is getting a lot of nice highlights in this gameplay. Even though I'm playing great defense, he's still getting great highlights. Because you can't stop Westbrook for the whole game. Again, he gets in the paint. Gives, dishes it off to Steven Adams. Gives it back out to Bradley Beal. It's like a double screen. But Kelly Oubre was... <laughs> I thought he, Kelly Oubre was going to set his screen there. I got confused. But anyways, he missed the layup. Paul George going coast to coast. Another mean slam. Nice 
screen here by Isaac. That was a beautiful play with Paul George. Man, Paul George is nice, especially when he's scoring a lot. The defense has to help, and it opens up the floor for a lot of my other teammates. Paul George dancing on Oubre. Nice three-point shot. Man, Paul George loves to dance, man. Well, at least I do. Step back. That was beautiful. But I missed the three. That was a heat check three-point shot. That was a three-point shot Paul George would have taken in real life. I find Isaac on the wing. Great game by both squads. We ended up pulling it out. <laughs> we ended up pulling it out in the second half. Man, I mixed up on my words there. But anyways, we ended up getting the victory. Great game. Paul George was dancing. His impact in the game was huge. He was facilitating scoring. And I think he almost had 40 in this game. So if you guys enjoyed the defensive highlights as well, let me know. I'll include both offense and defense. And drop a like and drop a comment. It really helps out. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.